thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Galadon, and you are watching episode 86 of Clash of Clans Attacks. And being that this is Clash of Clans Attacks, we are going to look at just that, a couple of attack replays today. A couple slightly unusual attack replays where things go slightly strangely. The first one here is from Weapon XXL from the Clan Lost Phoenix. And as you can see here, he started his standard Go Wee Wee style attack on a slightly not fully upgraded uh, Town Hall 10. I mean, the defenses are fully upgraded, but definitely not those walls. And as you can see, he spread out his golems in a wide array all the way around the top side of the base here. The king and the queen go in pretty early. And uh, this is what I've seen happen a lot with uh, high level champions attacking bases with pretty low level walls is you don't really have to worry quite as much about things like that, especially when you can do that, freezing two Infernos at once. That's a special note to some people. You might want to think about getting those Infernos just a little bit further apart, a second freeze spell, and those two Infernos are pretty much impotent throughout the rest of this attack. And that's before you know it, but I can't speak, and the Infernos are gone. And yes, that was a jump spell that was laid down there. Not that necessary because I think those heroes would have gone through that not fully upgraded wall pretty quickly. But nonetheless, we're already up to two stars. It's beginning to look like a three star victory is imminent. That queen is at full health and she's got a golem in front of her, which is a big key for that. She's taking no damage whatsoever as she melts through these structures left and right, willy nilly, destroying things on a rampage of her own. And uh, it won't be long now as we see the percentage increasing. She's going to head on out there, going through, of course, those walls rather than going around them because that's what queens do. Now we'll speed up this attack for a bit so we can get down to the slightly interesting part because the queen, well, she always has a one or two things that she can do to entertain us. First was destroying that wall when there was an empty path. The second will come right here as those bombs disorient her. She becomes dizzy and wanders right past that builder's hut goes beyond it to destroy another structure, turns around, comes back to finish off the Builder's Hut, almost to say like, look what I can do, I'm the queen, come on, I'm level 40, you can't stop me. And a three-star victory for Weapon XXL. And we're already on to the next attack, and yes, that is the famous cleanup hitter for Lost Phoenix, Metador. And he is up to bat against Cole Brebisbark Kid from United Nations. And as you can see here, we fast forwarded through that flawless royal lure as Metador always runs it. And yes, here come the golems moving into the center. He's got those wizards behind. He's going to clear those surrounding structures. He's got those enclosures open. Here comes a spray of wizards just destroying surrounding structures left and right. The clan castle witches are on the left. Here comes the king and the queen with only a few structures left on the inside. They're going to move in. Here comes a freeze spell saving the queen before she's too badly damaged. A massive number of wall breakers and oh, here's where it goes slightly wrong. The wall breakers go right rather than going towards that town hall and the king and the queen look like they're going to make a roundabout around this almost white flag base. White flag meaning it's giving up 50% pretty much easily but protecting that town hall. But look, look at that last wall breaker there. Did you see that? almost got through that inner wall and here's a whole group of barbarians and those barbarians are going to head towards that weakened wall and there there's a rage spell metador thinking ahead thinking on his feet drops his last rage spell rather than accelerating the king and the queen he's using it for about a half a dozen barbarians they're going to go to work on that town hall and i have to tell you that is one of the most ingenious and original ways i've seen a town hall taken down by a ragtag group of barbarians all of the powerful units were around the outside there but they weren't needed one well-produced rage spell and metador saves two stars as we would expect from metador as always thank you guys very much for watching liking commenting and subscribing as we close in on 50,000 subscribers i'm still doing my best to respond to as many of those constructive comments that i can uh, just to reply to a few of them here, no, I'm sorry, I cannot uh, join your clan and help you build it. We've got a few clans of our own we're trying to build, but I appreciate the offer. And uh, again, I do care very much about you fans. I appreciate those of you who love me, and I'm already married for those who are proposing marriage. But thank you once again. Until next time, this has been Galadon. You're watching Clash of Clans Attacks. And remember, make every attack a full attack.